Welcome back to Hit Stick Football, where we break down the wildest NFL moves and give you the most unfiltered takes. Today, we're talking about the Denver Broncos, a team making headlines for all the right or maybe wrong reasons. With Sean Payton stepping into his second season and pulling out all the stops, this team has thrown caution to the wind. Limited draft picks, shocking releases, and big gambles. This offseason has been nothing short of a roller coaster. Are the Broncos building something special, or are they on the verge of collapse? Stay tuned, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for the latest NFL drama. First up, let's talk about the Broncos' big swings in the draft and their bold bets on new talent. With their first round pick, the Broncos went all in on Bo Nix, betting this rookie can be the savior they desperately need. But here's the kicker, this isn't just any rookie. With Sean Payton under the gun in his second season and draft capital scarce due to last year's trades, Nix is stepping into one of the hottest seats in the NFL. The Broncos are rolling the dice big time, and if Nix doesn't pan out, this could set the franchise back even further. Not satisfied with just one college connection, Denver traded up to grab wide receiver Troy Franklin, Bo Nix's college teammate. This move isn't just about adding talent, it's about reigniting chemistry from day one. The Broncos are hoping this duo will bring the spark they need to light up their offense. But is this bold move a stroke of genius or a recipe for disaster if they can't make it translate to the pros? The Broncos added a bruising runner in Audric Estan, who brings a physical edge and a tough running style. He's not just a backup plan, he could emerge as the starter if he shows he's got the chops to handle NFL defenses. Estime's potential to transform the running game adds another layer to this offseason strategy, but will it be enough to carry the weight of Denver's offensive woes? Now, let's dive into the real drama, the departures that shocked the NFL world. Russell Wilson released. Talk about a headline grabber. Denver said goodbye to Russell Wilson, taking a massive $53 million cap hit in 2024 and an additional $32 million hit in 2025. This isn't just a financial decision, it's a statement. They're tearing up the blueprint and starting from scratch. But here's the twist. With over $85 million still tied up in Wilson's departure, this move could either be the ultimate reset button or the final nail in the coffin. The Broncos are betting big on a future without their former star. But did they jump ship too soon? And if that wasn't enough, they also released Justin Simmons, their star safety. This move saved $14.5 million in cap space, but cost them one of the best defensive players in the league. Simmons was a pillar of the Broncos' defense, a leader on and off the field. Cutting him loose signals a massive shift in strategy. Are the Broncos clearing the decks for a fresh start, or are they throwing away the best pieces in a bid for short-term flexibility? After giving Jonas Griffith a contract extension in February, the Broncos did a complete 180 and released him just months later. This kind of move screams instability and desperation. Are the Broncos making strategic decisions, or are they just throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks? Alright, so what's the end game here? Let's connect the dots. Sean Payton is entering his second season with the Broncos, and the pressure is on. He came in with high expectations, but after a disappointing first year, his honeymoon period is over. The team's aggressive moves show he's not afraid to gamble big to save his job and turn this franchise around. But with so many changes and limited draft picks due to last year's trades for himself and Wilson, Peyton's bold strategy is more like a game of high-stakes poker. Drafting Bo Nix and parting ways with Russell Wilson highlight a commitment to rebuild from the ground up, even at great financial cost. The Broncos are signaling they're ready for a fresh start, but this risky play hinges on Nix stepping up immediately. If he falters, Denver could be looking at a lengthy rebuilding process with a hefty price tag. Trading up for Troy Franklin and drafting Audric Estimi reflect a strategy focused on rejuvenating the offense with young, dynamic playmakers. They're trying to build chemistry and cohesion, betting that these rookies can make an impact right away, but relying heavily on unproven talent could backfire if they aren't ready to handle the pressure. Acquiring John Franklin Myers while releasing veterans like Simmons suggests a desire to rebuild the defense with a fresh, versatile core. The Broncos are clearly aiming to reshape their roster under Peyton's vision, but the road to success might be bumpier than they anticipate. Now, 
Let's hear what the experts are saying about the Broncos' bold offseason. ESPN warns, Denver's offseason moves are a high-risk, high-reward strategy. By cutting ties with Wilson and Simmons, they're clearly betting on a new direction. But the success of these moves is anything but guaranteed. NFL Network analysts are cautious. The Broncos' approach seems more like a desperate attempt to shake things up than a calculated plan. With so many changes, it's hard to predict how they'll perform in the upcoming season. Sporting News adds, Denver's moves show they're willing to take risks, but these gambles could easily blow up in the faces. If their bets on new talent don't pay off, it could set the franchise back even further. It's clear that opinions are mixed, and nobody really knows if these moves will lead to success or another year of frustration. Alright, here's where it gets spicy. Our bold prediction for the Denver Broncos in 2024. We're calling it 7-10 and, and missing the playoffs. Why? Because this team is gambling big with a rookie quarterback, a nearly unrecognizable roster, and a head coach desperate to prove he still got it. The Broncos are throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks, but with so much change in such a short time, cohesion is going to be a major issue. Expect flashes of brilliance from the new guys, but not enough consistency to make a real playoff push. But here's the kicker. If Bo Nix and Troy Franklin catch fire early, they could defy expectations and surprise everyone. It's a long shot. But with the NFL, you never know. Broncos fans, brace yourselves. It's going to be a wild ride. What's your take on the Broncos offseason and our bold prediction? Drop your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for all your NFL updates. Thanks for tuning in to Hit Stick Football, where we keep it real every time.